that's basically everything you need for a workshop, right? So if you want to build a workshop, you could literally do it in two days. Hello, hello, welcome back to another video by Best Lathe Plans. So this video is a bit different to the normal videos that I post. Um, as you can see, I'm driving through Dublin Quays and to the ferry port where I am jumping on a Stena Line ferry from Dublin to Holyhead in the UK. Well, in Wales in the UK. A quick wander around the ferry, pop into the Stena Plus lounge, grab some food, and then it's back to the cabin to go get some sleep. For those of you who haven't been watching my YouTube shorts, this is a tour around the UK to go and collect a bunch of machines for a workshop that I've actually not started building yet. So, just had a quick wander around the boat. Now it's time to get some shut eye. So, uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Very quick video. Uh, we've just docked in the port. Uh, it's about six o'clock in the morning. Um, had a shower, obviously in the in the uh, shower room and stuff here. So I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea and then I think we're gonna get called to get in the cars and stuff. So yeah, very early morning, very short sleep, but uh, it'll be worth it soon, you'll see. Filled up the flask with tea, all ready for the drive. Now to head back to the car. And back to the car. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that on the video, but it's uh, hailstoning pretty heavily. Um, not the weather I was expecting. I mean, it is the middle of winter, but it's actually been pretty warm. It's been like 10 degrees the last two, three weeks. And uh, of course, the day I need to travel is the day that the crappy weather comes and all the weather warnings are out. Oh well, into a tunnel. Well, it's... Uh, pretty chilly outside. It's actually quite a nice morning, but uh, yeah, it's pretty snowy. So, driving very, very slowly, taking it easy. And as they say, making sure you arrive alive. So, yeah, the journey has taken a bit longer than I was hoping it would take. Under the wisdom of Google Maps, it decided to take me down some ridiculous single track road in the snow even though there was a three-lane motorway from where I was to exactly where I wanted to go. But we'll ignore that for the time being. And then the weather cleared up, so that was nice. So here's another update. Just stopped at the services somewhere on the M6 near uh, Stoke-on-Trent. Um, quick toilet stop and stretch the legs and now to carry on the journey over to Nottingham. So I'll see you in Nottingham shortly. Well, that was a long drive. So I'm literally about to arrive at the first stop, which is the old poly model engineering workshop. Um, you'll see us pull in in a second. I've not actually driven in yet. I've just stopped around the corner to get some money out of the cash point. But um, yeah, I'm just about to pull into poly models where we're gonna go pick up the first machine. Um, so this is quite exciting. I've not actually seen this machine in the flesh. So fingers crossed it's in decent condition. They've told me it's all right. So yeah, let's go check out this first machine and hopefully the lorry will arrive as well to start collecting them. Uh, let's get around the corner and go check it out. The weather's cleared up too, which is great because the weather was shocking earlier and I didn't particularly want it to get wet to get it in the, uh, in the truck, so. A bit lost here, I've not been here before, so. Pretty sure it's in here. No idea where to uh, chuck the car, so I'm just gonna bung it down here. This has us arrived at Poly Model Engineering. So let's go check out their old workshop, see this machine for the first time, and fingers crossed everything goes smoothly. So this is Poly Models. Their workshop obviously is getting cleared out, but check this out. So this is the bridge port, obviously. BRJ head. So I'll find the serial numbers and stuff for it, and then uh, we're going to get it forklifted out here and out ready to be collected. Okay, so we've just seen the um, just been in to see the Bridgeport. Looks class. Needs a bit of work, but looks class. But uh, now I'm trying to find somebody with a forklift to actually get it out of the building. So this could be interesting. 
Okay, so we just spoke to somebody from a couple of units down. He has the forklift. He says they've moved a few of these machines earlier, like some of the ones that used to be here and stuff. So he's gonna help me get it out the building and then the truck's gonna pick it up and bring it back to, bring it back home or to its new home. So I'm gonna just get some footage of the, uh, of it now. Um, give a bit of a close up of it and stuff and then we'll get it out. Oh, I'm gonna strip it down and stuff as well, obviously. But, yeah. So this is my new bridge port. As you can see, it's uh, needing a bit of a clean. It has a Heidenhain DRO, which is great and a automatic feed as well on the x-axis. You can see the table has a little bit of damage, but nothing that should cause any major issues. Obviously all the ways and things are very mucky as well, so this will all need cleaning. And the underneath is pretty gross. Uh, this, like literally if you touch it with your hands, you're covered in mank. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take a bit of elbow grease to clean it up. I'm not sure if it comes out in the video very clearly, but a few of the levers up on the head have been damaged. So you might see a future project where I'm making a few replacement handles. So then it was just a case of removing all of the hardware from the bed, prepping the head, making sure everything was locked down and secure, and just generally preparing it for transport. Andy, the, uh, the owner of Poly Models there, came out as well, and he gave me a bit of a hand and a few pointers on the machine just before he relinquished ownership of it. And bang on cue, the gentleman from the unit just down the lane there arrived with the forklift, and he kindly moved the bridge port down to the street where the truck arrived, and I watched the guys load it. The transport's here. I'll get them rang now and tell them. That looks brilliant. <laughs> I'm well impressed. Hello, welcome back. So we've collected the bridge port from Poly Model Engineering in Nottingham. We've had the Geisen shot blast machine collected from Leicester. We're now on our way to Coventry to go pick up two steel uh, machinist cabinets. And then tomorrow we're heading to um, Stourport on 7 to go pick up the Colchester Master Lathe and the Tom Senior Horizontal Mill. So, Jesus, it's been one hell of a trip um, with a lot of equipment. Um, obviously you guys have probably already seen the truck anyway from putting the, uh, from the bridge port on it, but the truck's starting to look pretty full now, which is great. Welcome back. So it's been a very successful day. We've picked up the bridge port, we've picked up the shot blaster, I've picked up two engineers' cabinets, I also managed to acquire extra on top of the orders, which I didn't, th which I wasn't expecting. A coolant tray or a drip tray for the bridge port as well came from the guys who I actually bought it for, um, but it wasn't listed on the auctions. So that was a nice surprise. And then I also added to the bill. I think it's a 12-inch rotary table. Like it's insane. This thing weighs like half the amount that I do. Like it's ridiculous. Uh, it's huge. Weighs a ton. Solid. Really nice unit. A massive angle plate. I mean, this angle plate must be. 12 inches by 12 inches, like it's huge. Um, so those, boring bar set, a couple of new um, puller rods for the bridge port as well. Um, get the right name from drawbars, a couple of new drawbars for the bridge port as well. So yeah, in all, very productive day. Um, knackered, absolutely knackered, because I've been traveling since about one o'clock this morning and it's now half past seven, quarter to eight tonight, at night. Um, so yeah, it's been a full on day, a lot of driving. I've done hundreds of miles, like I don't even know how many miles I've done, but it's been a lot. Um, anyway, long day, knackered. I'm gonna grab some food. So we've got a busy day tomorrow. We're gonna pick up the Colchester Master Lathe and we're gonna go pick up the Tom Senior Horizontal Mill and we're gonna go pick up all the tools and the fittings and everything that go with it as well. That's all gonna get put on, tr on, the, um, on the lorry or on the trailer. And I'm going to move the cabinets probably to the trailer as well, just for ease of transport and stuff. So yeah, long, lot, lots left to do, but that's basically everything you need for a workshop, right? So if you want to build a workshop, you could literally do it in two days. Now, having said that, I haven't built a workshop. Like these are all going into a temporary location. Um, most people would build the workshop first, see what space they have, and then get the suitable machines. I decided to do it the other way around, which was buy all the machines I wanted, store them, and then find somewhere or find a workshop or build a workshop that's capable of taking all the machines I wanted. Maybe not the best way to do it, but sure, that's the way I've done it now. They're all bought and paid for, so might as well make the most of it. 
So yeah, I'm gonna sign off for the night and I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning to go pick up these last two machines and then start the journey home. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now then, good morning. It's uh, day two of the great equipment collection trip. Uh, it's uh, obviously been snowing, or at least it's very icy here. Um, and it's bloody freezing outside. Can you guys see that? Anyway, um, yeah, so it's day two. I got very little sleep last night, but um, we're off to the final machine shop today to go pick up two new machines, or two more machines. Um, one is a Colchester Master Lathe, and the other one is a Tom Senior Horizontal Mill. And we'll see what other bits and bobs they have as well there. I think there's a few bits bolted to the table and stuff, so we'll collect them as well. So yeah, we'll head over to the machine shop, get them collected, and get them on the truck. Truck drivers meet us there to get them all. Yeah, let's get over there and get them prepped and ready, and then we can start the journey home and start fitting out the workshop. Arrived at the final machine shop to pick up my last two machines. So we have this one here. This is our Colchester Master Lathe. Absolute beast of a machine. This is our Tom Senior Horizontal Mill. Again, beast of a machine. And then look at all the other toys they have. They're like, incredible. This went for about 500 quid. Don't know what this one sold for, that's Tom Senior Vertical Mill. This is a Smart and Brown lathe. Really nice as well, didn't win that either. Pillar drill, like look at the size of this thing, like that is insane. And then a grinder, which I'm toying with the idea of, but I never grind anything, because I don't know how to use a grinder. But like, look at this, it's gorgeous. Look at, even like the oilers on it are beautiful. Like it's awesome. You know, like such a nice machine. So good. So, yeah. Very, very, very jealous of all the stuff in this shop. Look at this machine. What insane, this machine, 200 quid. And this thing, I mean, 150 quid, like. And coolant pumps, everything. This is, yeah, there's the pump and everything down there. There's actually still oil in it, that's scary. All of these, chucky, steadies. So after admiring the machines for a bit and having a look around their workshop, I then prepped the machines and then Neil arrived with the truck and we started loading. That's impressive just lift that up by the cooling plate. Looks pretty good up there. Doesn't have to make life easier when you've got the right gear, does it? It always scares me seeing a piece of equipment that heavy hanging from the strap. I mean, you know it's safe, but still. Happy there? Yep. I found two other machines that I really want, and as soon as I have the truck here, I'm thinking, a rather nice Mahusu pillar drill. Like, look at the size of this table. So this and the grinder, which I literally have no use for, but look at it, it's such a nice machine. So. Yeah, I'm speaking to the guys and seeing if they would consider an offer. I'm hoping they'd, I'm hoping they'd think about it, so. So I might have just struck a deal for two new machines, uh, the pillar drill and the grinder. No idea what they'd use a grinder for, but sure, it's a yeah, beautiful piece of kit. Uh, we'll check it out and see what it's like. What does the thing like that way? You're looking at um, what about on the toe? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 600 kilo. I still can't get over how beautiful this is. I like the oilers, the oilers and... Up on the way. Yeah. Up. Okay. <laughs> Fair amount of gear that, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Laid at the back. Oh, yeah. It's got the horizontal right. at the front. Yeah. Got the pillar drill. And then under here, 
I think it's this pallet here, is the uh, shot glass machine. And then on the far side, we've got the bridge port there. You can see the handle sticking out the other side. There's the bridge port at the back there. So, for a 44 ton articulated lorry, uh, there's a fair few units in it. So, yeah, the workshop's going to be pretty busy when I build the damn thing. The, uh, the gents just figuring out what way to put this on the truck because it's got a lot of sticky outfits and glass bits and all that. So, yeah. It's a nice unit. There's the lathe from the other side. So you've got the uh, dressing lathe and then these two tool cabinets as well. And then the bridge port. I think the bridge port, uh, shot blaster, tool cabinets, lathe, pillar drill, horizontal. Lathe. Surface grinder for cylindrical production. So that was an eventful morning. Um, it's about two o'clock now, so yeah, morning, lunch, whatever. Um, so you can see I've removed some of the stuff from the back. That's now on the lorry, which is making its way back to my workshop. Well, workshop slash. And the camera battery died. It had been a long few days. Hello there, good evening. Busy crossing? Thanks a lot, cheers. So all that was left was driving back to the ferry port, hopping on the Stenoline ferries again and getting back to Ireland. Coming soon will be the video of me getting the machines delivered to my temporary storage place in Ireland. And then I guess that's where the real work starts, where I then start working on the machines and restoring them to their former glory. Hello everyone, so we're now on the return leg. Uh, this is the ferry and we're heading back to Ireland. So yeah, we've got a few hours on the boat here and then uh, home and sorting the machines. Well, the machines actually are on a different boat, so I don't know when they're going to arrive back home. Uh, and then clear customs and everything else. Anyway, I'm going to head upstairs, get some food, get a bite to eat and uh, yeah, try and get some shut eye, I think. It's been a long few days. Here we are on the ferry, made some use of the duty free, and uh, yeah, it's dark. Very dark. A bit wet. Right, come back inside. It's too cold for this. Too cold for this. And that's me back on Dublin Keys where this video started about 48 hours ago. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in a future video.